Hello everyone. I am Neeraj. Welcome to the new episode of uh, Jin JWT Auth project. In this session, I am going to work on the refresh token mechanism so that uh, our client would be able to get a refresh token automatically. Remember that uh, we already worked on our client part, front end client part as well. That from our React client, so we are able to uh, log into the system and uh, we are returning this token and our client is storing this token in its local storage so that it can access the password protected routes uh, later on while the user is visiting the our application but uh, like uh, when uh, we talk about the refresh token so consider uh, however i believe you might you might all be aware about the what token and what uh, refresh token mechanism is but but uh, just to give just to uh, brief about the concept so the 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 thing is like uh, in our uh, uh, this uh, password protected routes so we created so we are expecting that uh, a, a, a variable token in the header and based on this token so our middleware will work and it will uh, validate the identity of the user whether it's a legitimate user or not and if it is not it will return uh, return on error otherwise uh, the user would be able to access the private routes right so far so good but the problem would happen what if the we don't refresh the token and the user tries to uh, cause remember you might recall that in our uh, while creating our token so if we traverse to the generate token mechanism function so we are setting the token expiration time of the three minutes from the date from the time of creation so what will happen that uh, although in the user has logged in to do into our system and the three minutes has been elapsed and if he, the user tries to access uh, private routes so he will get a 401 error not authorized or not uh, authenticated so that thing so that will give a very bad user experience and uh, we need to have short end mechanisms so that we can automate the process so that uh, the, the, the so that the the user token will get refreshed automatically again and again before the expiration of the token so this is what uh, we are going to do in this uh, session so obviously it is a twisted process so first we will work on our api part and uh, later on so we will uh, resume on the on uh, towards our client side front end client so let's work on it so we don't require this token so remember so we created this uh, private routes and it is using a middleware so here it is the, the middleware is checking and uh, what uh, i'll do is that once the uh, middleware has completed the validity of the token and if the token is valid so we need to store the user email uh, in uh, somewhere so that uh, we can uh, we can access it and we can uh, get the user object and uh, create a new token so the best and the part the best place to store the this email is in the context so what let me write first so we will say claims dot email so what uh, this this method does is that this method takes a key value pair so what i am doing here is that uh, after the token is, if the token is valid so i am uh, getting this the user's email and setting it the, in the context so that uh, we can access it in the our refresh token method as well and here also so like we set the uh, this key so we need to extract it so i am writing it that email and uh, a variable access so like uh, we said we have another method called get and here we need to provide the name of the our key so our key name is uh, email and actually it returns two things one is the value and second is a boolean value whether the, the this key exists or not so that is why we are using this access variable and uh, we will check if it is false then we will log a message say email not found or 
email key not found okay and uh, we will immediately return c dot json a 401 and the return object okay and uh, here we will we can also set the message as well and uh, msg as uh, email email not found okay and return so but uh, uh, this part uh, so far so good and now we have to fetch the user and create a new token and uh, this the, the code we have already already created so what i'll do is that uh, i'll just uh, simply in, a, in order to save the time so i'm just going to copy it as a developer i consider to be a lazy person and whatever we have since we have already created so it's always better to save the time so i'll replace the variable and uh, once this is done so if this is true i mean user is found in our database and now very simply we have to create the token and return the we can also return the user full of user object as well and uh, simply paste it so just save it and uh, terminal also it's, it's fine so first of all let us try to initiate this uh, refresh token uh, request with a, a previous token so let us see so token has invalid claims token is expired okay perfectly fine so actually we need to get a new token so we will issue a request and this time we will copy this uh, token and uh, while refresh token so we will simply paste the new token and now let us try to initiate it so this is so this is this this is perfectly working fine so we are getting the new token and uh, we are also returning the user actually we don't need to return the user but uh, i mean it's up to up to the i mean as and we as and what we require so we can do that so that way so uh, our api part so we have completed our api refresh token api part and uh, what uh, we will need to i mean react client will do that react client will uh, periodically uh, i mean before the expiry there are two way and we will talk uh, much detail about while we work on the our front end part how to automate this process but there are two ways actually so but uh, so what uh, whenever the this request refresh token api would be called from our uh, react project client so what it will do is that it will take the this new token and it will store this new token uh, in its local store so that uh, user will have a very smooth and continuous experience so user uh, will not need to log in and in again and again after the token expiry so what we will do is that, that before expiry of the token so we are creating a new token generating a new token and returning a new token to the client okay so that's all for this session so if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding